All right, it is early November. I'm working on the fence project. Gonna start off with this uh, 28 inch tall garden fence. Sometimes they call it rabbit guard because it's got the little one inch by four inch and then graduated up to two inch by four inch and then a four inch by four inch um, grid pattern. They come in 50 foot rolls, so I had to do a little a little splicing. Tempted to cut it short back there and just uh, staple in a new one, but uh, I think I'm going to be really close on the amount of fence I need. So I'm going to leave it at this 28 inch height and then from there I'm going to have um, every 12 inches I'm going to have some high tensile wire and I can keep on adding that wire up and up and up. I think I got a total of nine feet available to me to go up. We'll see how bad the deer problem is and if it remains not an issue I'll cut those poles short after putting probably at least six feet of height to my high tension wire. We'll then electrify that if I need to. What I'm doing now is pulling my fencing. I made this little uh, little rig here using um, roofing nails, which was supposed to catch the grid, but uh, the two by two that's screwed to it is mashed down on the two by four so tight doesn't even look like it's pulling on those on those roofing nails. It's just um, grabbed down onto the wire itself. And then it's just connected to a 12 volt winch. You can get that at Harbor Freight pretty cheap. It's really handy. You can use it around um, pretty much anything. You can you can mount it if you want, but I just hook it onto my my trailer hitch, and then it uh, clips onto your battery up front. And it's got a little remote so you can be up here looking at the fence as you're tensioning it. Then once you get it tensioned, you just uh, staple it around and then finish unrolling it that way. Move the car down there and pull again. So by the end of November, I should have this and the high tension wire done. Probably will not solarize, solarize um, electrify the fence unless I see that I actually need to. But that'd be, I'm going to put the high tension wire up with insulators. So if I need um, to, to energize it, I just need to connect the panel. Okay, that's it. And while I got the video camera out, this is my new well house. Um, looks like an outhouse. It's meant to, it's not going to be an outhouse. Uh, the wood was used from a 125 year old building out on the confluence at the Eno River Association. It's where the east and west fork of the of the Eno come together. They were tearing down these houses. And that just holds my well stuff and that's gonna be a storage up top. And these little signs came from my daughter's wedding in our backyard. Showing folks where the food is. Well, that's it. Jay from Greybeard signing out.